I like your window. Just Thanks. I like it. Just you know the the you know we miss you. Can't wait to get back, and I'm yes. sure that's what it is. It really is. You know, like we've created such a genuine relationship with all of our customers that it makes it really difficult not seeing them in person. Um, and this is you know this is where I come every day. And you're a mom, and you have. I'm a mom, and I have four kids, and they are knocking on the window. Please and stop. <laughs> this is perfect, though, because this this shows what it's like to be a mom it is. And, a, and an owner. Let me tell you, running a business from home with four kids has been super interesting. Um, it's it's been difficult. It's been difficult because. You know, I'm trying to balance being a stay-at-home mom again, which I did for eight years, but yeah. I haven't done in three with, you know, being a business owner and still trying to keep my business. And we have to hustle even harder as small business owners right now in order to keep our businesses afloat during this time. Like our bills don't stop the same way that your yeah. home bills don't stop. So not only do I have, you know, a home mortgage and electric bill and internet bill and food, we also still have store things even though we're not in the shop. And and 95% of my business is from foot traffic and people who are walking in my stores. So my online sales are vastly different and not quite enough to support our online, you know, our, our yeah. shop. Um, so the biggest concern for a lot of business owners down here is maintaining a float during this time, especially with the governor just announcing that this is through June 10th. We're looking at months of not being in our stores and that makes really difficult for maintaining sales, for maintaining yeah. relationships, for keeping up your social media when you're balancing everything at home. It's it's a lot. Uh, and what can people do at this point to, to, to help businesses like yours? Find out which of your local boutiques and your local restaurants have online ordering, whether it be for food and, and pickup or, you know, purchasing coffee in a bag rather than buying it by the cup, um, purchasing from small people, you know, small artists um, like Scarlett. She just, you know, I'm headed over to the Italian station in a few minutes to pick up one of the, their new mugs. Um, and, and for myself, like we have an online store, plus we also sell on social media. So supporting those businesses, buying gift cards if there's nothing that you want right now, but you can hold on to later for holiday shopping and things yeah. like that. Anything helps, especially on social media. Remaining active with your local boutiques and your local business owners really, really helps us right now because it helps us to keep our our social media going. It helps us to keep our engagement up and the algorithms and everything that goes into that. We put a lot of work and a lot of dedication into those things and we're still doing it from home or from a distance, however we can. So maintaining that you know, communication with those owners and liking and commenting and sharing on their stuff really, really goes a long way. I go by here and I see it dark and it, it saddens me. It makes me so sad to look down the street. I'm standing on the 600 block and I can see clear down to the 1100 block. Yeah. And that to me is absolutely insane. Even on our dentist days downtown, there's like a person or two that you can, you know, that you can't see around. You can't see clear down the street. Again, like if you stand to here, uh, there's two cars parked on my entire side of the block. Yeah. Insanity. I haven't been able to find a parking spot on my block in months. <laughs> But now, like, there's always something wide open. Um, and so for us, it's really just a way, us decorating our windows is really just a way to remind you guys that, like, we might be business owners, but we're people too. Yep. And we really do care about our customers down here. Well, I miss you. So come back I soon. I know. We will be back as soon as we are allowed. Um, I can't wait. We are going to be changing some things up and doing some, you know, a slightly different orders than what we normally have. Yeah. We'll be doing a little bit, more, focusing a little bit more on the new stuff so that we can continue to maintain our sales and do what we can and keeping up our engagement, focusing on some self-care things. As a mom, I understand how important that is. Um, I'm wearing heels today. Not that you guys can see that. I'm wearing heels today because I've needed to actually like get up and get dressed for once. I've been living my life in sweatpants and I'm a little nervous to go back to jeans. <laughs> so. Well, I'll let you go back to being a mom now because your kids are calling. They are calling. <laughs> so I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much.